I know I've been loving these dishes. I don't know if Shrese can cook or not, but it's my magic spell that makes these dishes good. Shut up, you. You've been enjoying everything. Arrgh! I think I might need to see my shrink. A bit too much of time with this guy. Punchoy represents prosperity. Now, it's like a prosperity pot. So inside this dish, there are a lot of very expensive ingredients like scallops, sea cucumber, prawns, and etc. And the list goes on and on. Abalone, not forgetting. Every Chinese New Year, we have to have a punchoy. Yeah, it sort of signifies abundance and prosperity. I realize. We Chinese, everything is about prosperity and wealth. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to start uh, braising some of the ingredients. Some ginger, about four cloves of garlic. Now, I'm going to leave them whole so it's easier to fish them out later on. Okay, heat up your wok, add in some oil, add garlic and ginger in the pot. Now, I'm going to be adding in the dried mushrooms. Before we do that, just cut off the stems. Okay, don't discard this liquid because this liquid is going to add flavor to our broth. Once you start to smell that ginger and garlic, squeeze out any of this excess liquid, but of course without breaking up the mushrooms. Fry them so you get that nice beautiful aroma of mushrooms. Once you start smelling mushrooms, now I'm adding in chicken stock and half of the mushroom brine. Don't go all the way in because there's a lot of sediment down there. There might be some sand. Now, we're going to let this come to a boil and then we're going to add in a few other ingredients to braise as well. While we're waiting, we're going to prepare our vegetable. Here, I've got some daikon. Daikons go in. Lotus root. There we go, and in. Now I'm adding in some dried oysters that I have hydrated in some water. Uh, all the stuff that requires a bit of braising, yeah? They need some time to get soft. Now the other stuff that I'll be putting in later on will be quick. Okay, now for some other vegetables that I will be sort of blanching. I've got here some Chinese long cabbage. Now broccoli, yeah? Cut out some nice chunky florets. Season the water with some salt. So I'm going to start fishing them out uh, one by one, ingredient by ingredient, because they all take different times to cook. So we're going to start off by removing the daikon. Alright, so we remove the daikon, place them on one side. So these will be the base at the bottom of the pun choy. Yeah? Usually the cheaper ingredients are at the bottom to give it that lift and the more expensive ingredients are on the top. Now there are a bunch of different things that you can add as a base. I've seen some put pumpkin, some put use yam uh, and basically whatever that you like. These are the Chinese cabbage. Just going to half of them. They're nice and soft now and I can roll them into beautiful rolls to be placed at the bottom. Next up, we're removing the lotus root. I'm also going to be fishing out my dried oysters. If you like them really soft, you can keep them on a little bit longer. They've been braising for a good half an hour, 40 minutes now. And these will go on top later, so you keep them at the side. Mushrooms stay in. Now I'm going in with the sea cucumber. Now in the boiling water, I'll be adding in my prawns. Fish your prawns out once they're ready. Now that the sea cucumber is in there, I'm going to be adding in the abalone sauce. Alright, now blanch your broccoli. Don't over blanch the broccoli. Yeah, we want the broccoli nice and vibrant in colour. Now, I'm going to be removing the sea cucumber. Get that nice and tender. Next in, I'm adding in the scallops. Now, I keep the scallops in the sift yeah, because I don't want the scallops to break apart. Okay, broccoli. I'm adding in the abalone. The 
abalone's going in for a nice warm bath to come up to temperature. Oysters in. All right, now, for my secret ingredient that makes this Pun Choi pork free, I will be using smoked duck. My favorite alternative to anything pork. What you want to do, pat dry with the kitchen towel and we will be searing this only on the skin side to give it that nice beautiful colour that replicates like seared skin. Remember, medium heat because we don't want it to burn too quickly. Scallops out. Abalone out. Get your abalones and just arrange them beautifully in the centre. Alright, now that the duck is done, Look at that beautiful seared skin. Look at that beautiful juicy smoked duck. And gently place your smoked duck in. There we go. Back to this liquid. Now this liquid, we've built up so much of flavour inside. We've got braising of the daikon, the lotus root, the mushrooms, the sea cucumber. And I'm going to be adding in a bit of abalone sauce, a little bit of caramel. Now, I'm using a fine sift to sift off any impurities inside this gravy. Put the clay pot on, or your serving platter or whatever it is, and we're going to be pouring this sauce over into the clay pot. All right, so, there we go, beautiful, look at that. Once everything starts to boil again, we are ready to serve. Take this baby out, set that on your dining table and tell me that your family members are not going to go, wow! Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of Pun Choi, pork free. Enjoy. Mm. Mm. Of all the dishes we serve, in Malaysia for all different festive seasons. I think this has to be my best festive season dish. Like my favourite festive season dish. Look at that beautiful flaky scallops. Think to note, if you want to get scallops that's nice, tender, yeah, and flaky and not fibrous and dry, you have to soak the scallops. I've soaked mine for a good four to five hours and simmer them for 10 minutes or so and they become this nice, beautiful, yeah, not dry, not fibrous, but almost succulent. Mm. Now let's go in for a giant prawn. Head off. Beautiful. Give it a quick suck. Mm. The sweetness of the prawns. Absolutely delicious. This is one of your Instagram versus reality moment. Get a bit of that gravy in. Mm. Now that sauce, it's got so much of flavor in there. Built up from braising each ingredient. The daikons and lotus root right now have absorbed all that flavor from this final gravy and it's going to be so delicious, so rich when you eat it. I just want to take this time to wish each and every one of you Kong He Fa Choi. May you prosper in health, in wealth, and everything else that your heart desire. All right, God bless, take care. I love you all. Kong He Fa Choi. <laughs>